here. This is Way in the Morning Day for a fire to friends, ladies and gentlemen. Yep, yep. Nice to John, honey. Thank you. That's an oldie but a goodie, baby. That was an un- unexpected, pleasant surprise. Yo, well, you know, man, um, we, we all come from, we're, we're here because of music culture, so I, mm-hmm. I find it, I, I look up stuff a lot, you know, yep. and um, I remember the Krenz, I've worked for MTV for, you know, 17 years, so, sure. and we always have these conversations about the state of rock and roll, you know, and you guys, in my opinion, are what I kind of call a real rock and roll band, so to speak. They got Thank balls. You. They got balls, right, Rachel? They got Thank balls! You. It's and tough. their the drummer music... is amazing. Their the... drummer is Sean Pelton, a Saturday Night Live mm-hmm. drummer, and but the, like the greatest session drummer I think ever. It's tough. The music business today then... is not really set up for rock music the way it used to be in the yeah. you know, 70s and 80s. You know, people don't necessarily buy albums anymore. Although vinyls made a big comeback, but that's mm-hmm. still a niche part of the business. Yeah. Yeah. We are vinyl um, files. We have over 2,000, I don't know, maybe 2,500. Records. And it's it's such a shame because I think a really cool way to listen to music is a full-length album. Like, yeah. you know, whatever it is, 40, 45 minutes. You get the picture, right. You can have an ebb and flow to it, almost like a movie or, or a theater, um, and that's becoming a lost art. But there's still bands out there that are doing that. Who are the bands like the... the by the way, we have DJ Misbehavior here, who is like Hello. world-renowned, should be on Spin on Your Show, maybe. Hi. Um, <laughs> And she plays purely vinyl. Well, she plays everything, but her niche is vinyl. You, you should know. come to Feedback. Yeah. I would love to, yeah. yeah. Uh, feedback every year during South by Southwest, we now have, I think, probably the largest event. It's over a mile and a half long, our, our, our line to get in. Three bands <clears throat> playing all at the same time. There's two outside at, at what formerly Stubbs. Yeah. Formerly used Stubbs. Stubbs. Yeah, used mm-hmm. to be Stubbs. I don't know what they're going to call it this year, but... Uh, while one band plays, the other band sets, and then the smaller, like the quieter acts play inside. But uh, we also have a singer-songwriter house every night. We have DJs every night. It's this huge music. I, I, yeah, I don't we know have, what you call it. It's like a baby palooza. Between or something. the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> between but the it's like every bands. every single type of music. And the VIP there is. house. Naughty have. by Nature yeah, and Naughty Weezer by nature were our closers oh, this shit. year. Really? Yeah, Naughty cool. by Nature and Naughty Weezer? by Nature just played my Burger Bash two nights ago. Burger oh, Bash. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> best burger joint in the best burger joint in the country in your opinion. My house. Yeah. There it is. Oh. <laughs> Man, People man. flip from my patties. I wrote the book on it. That's the right. book of burger. That's 250 right. Two hundred and fifty patties. Wow. Yeah. Wow. wow. I take you out. What There's you- no better <laughs> burger than my burger. What about Shake Shack and Shake Shack? Places? I love and I love Danny Meyer. I love everybody that works for him. They're uh, people with great integrity and, and yeah. Um, my dog even goes to, to Shake Shack. Oh, it, no, the, she's got. Oh. They, they put when they see <laughs> Izzy online uh-huh. when we go to um, to Shake Shack, they see Iz online and they have like little dog cookies there, and she gets a, a small single patty. But they go and put ice in the dog bowl out back because they know she likes ice in her water. Oh wow! She legit wow. is like a favorite she, at the Shake right, Shack. VIP. But you see how she treats her dog and how you treat Lucky. You see oh, the difference. Damn. Oh, Heather. Heather, did you see that coming? That was mean. For no reason, Rachel. Mm-hmm. Don't she you? I'm like sure she loves Lucky. I love ask Lucky. Her, well, ask her how often she takes Lucky for a walk. Lucky has a backyard. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Izzy has a dog Arrest door you. and she has a backyard. She take herself out anytime. She, I, I agree with you. Let her wow. Thank you, Rachel. She has a backyard. I have a dog and a cat and a husband. I'm busy. <laughs> <laughs> Who walks the husband? Huh? Who walks the husband? <laughs> His nickname Horse. He can walk himself. <laughs> but you know, Rachel, Heather does uh, a lot of her self um, made recipes on her Instagram. She's our culinary, you know, expert, uh, expert here. Expert. Mm-hmm. Talk about some of the stuff you do, Heather. No, I like kind of like what Rachel said though. I'm home. I home cook, and it's just like when I'm away yeah. and vacation and stuff too. But I agree with what you said. I just kind of I do it because I find that cooking and bringing people together just makes them feel good. No it matter it feeds your soul. It feeds you know? your soul, yeah, it really and it, does. no matter what kind of day they had, no matter what the difference is. So I cook family style meals as well, just to bring people together. I have an open door policy on good. Sundays, and it feels good. Yeah, my mom. You know, she worked in restaurants for sixty years. And didn't matter if we had to eat at eight or nine or like it, it didn't matter. She just wanted us to be together and have good, good, good food. And that's good what I wanted to ask you about because yeah. that was something my grandmother was big on. Do you find that that's missing from home now? People just don't sit down and have. Dinner? I absolutely do, and I think we're all so rigid, and everybody has to do something at, at, the, at a certain time. My mom was just never like that, and neither mm-hmm. was my grandfather. My mother was one of ten children, the firstborn. My grandpa was a stonemason, worked eighty, hundred hours a week. 
he would come home and cook all night long and leave the food in the stove or on the stove for the mm. next day for the mm -hmm. kids. My grandmother was like the baker and the seamstress, not a very good cook. But my grandpa tended the garden, made the food, and in the middle of the night, we, it used to be dark enough at night to see the northern lights. Mm -hmm. He'd pull his children out of bed and take them outside and sing to them and let them look up at the stars. Mm -hmm. And they'd sit and break bread together whenever they could, you know? And on weekends, everybody went to Grandpa's house. He ran liquor, so he had extra money, and he bought all the kids' shoes. Yay, so yay. he was like, baby, baby godfather? Yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 your grandfather was a bootlegger? Yeah, my grandpa, well, he was a stonemason by trade, but yeah. he ran liquor for a short time when you could make money running liquor. Yeah. And uh, he bought all of the children. He had 10 children, but there were 54 children in the Italian-American uh, peninsula uh -huh. on Lake George up in Ticonderoga. So he bought ch every single child a pair of good shoes for Christmas with the money he made from running liquor. That's wow. what's up. And so everybody came to their house on Sunday, and he couldn't fit them in the house, so he'd put the big table outside. Uh -huh. And he'd go through the whole big line, and he'd feed everybody. There was always food. Wow. wow. <clears throat> beautiful. That's beautiful. I told you, I come from good hand. people yeah, that love from... to work hard <laughs> and to know that having a rich life has absolutely nothing to do with money. We got mm. Damon. Money doesn't on, suck. But yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Plus, we got a lot of it. <laughs> uh, Damon from Connecticut's on the Damon. line. Hi, Damon. Come on. Hey, hey, what's going on? What's up, man? <laughs> Go for it. Hey, out here, just uh, we want to show love to Rachel Ray. Thank you, That baby. 2,000 episodes, you know I'm rocking with you the long way. Thank you, honey. Is that it? <laughs> I was just want to call me okay. and show the love. I that's, mean, you know, that's nice. I'll, I'll, I'll take love. Okay. Love's, that. Good. Love's good. Love's, Love's my good. favorite four-letter word. John's here too. <laughs> you know. All right, Phil from Illinois. Go ahead. What's up, Phil? Hey, what's going on? What's up? What's up, Rachel? Hi, Rachel, Phil. I gotta tell you, man, I love you. Thank uh, you. My grandma, rest her, rest in peace to my grandmother. She used to watch you all the time on Food Network. I love that. Every, I just love every that. time, and she used a lot of your recipes too. So every time I, I see you on TV, I automatically think of her. So thank oh, you. that brings us all uh, together. That's sweet. I do have a, I do have a question though about sure. your your pet food. Um, you, you make a dog food and a cat food. I want to know what what type of ingredients do you put into your dog food I'm versus like Purina. No, amazing. You can read you can read the label just like a menu. And many, many times over the years on news programs and such, I have eaten the dog food and the cat food to prove how tasty it is. It does need more salt, oh. in my opinion. But the reason I started making that dog food was because so many families were murdering their own pets by buying foods that are not regulated. You know, we import them, and there's no regulation on them, and they had these additives in them, and literally dogs and cats were dying. People were killing their furry family members. So in order to feel better about feeding my own dog, and my mom has rescued 15 cats, I, we had to start making food that we wanted to feed them. Um, and just after the hurricanes, I think we're now over... 22 million or so, 22 million dollars because of the sales of that food we've given to non-kill shelters, large wow. and small wow. of every type. Wow. That's amazing. And whenever there's natural disasters, like Sandy here, or what just happened horrible mm -hmm. in Houston, mm -hmm. and Rio, in Puerto yeah. Rico, yeah. right? We 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 literally just in Houston alone, we gave a million dollars to put up centers and work with everybody in that community to get animals reunited with their families mm -hmm. or relocated. Um, so yeah, because of that food and, and people buying it, <clears throat> it's, it's a beautiful system. That's how we, we do with our, that's where we get all of our funding for what we do with humans too, with, uh -huh. with Yama, with the money we give to scholarships and improving school food and feeding the hungry. All of that comes from the revenue of selling our products. Like it, it, you, if you know how to build a business, you should dedicate part of that business to giving back to your community. How'd you opinion. learn how to build business, though? Because you're extremely successful. I've worked in my ass off since I was 12, yeah. and I come from hardworking people that are not only hardworking, but my grandpa and my mom, 80 to 100 hours a week, and grateful for mm -hmm. the job. I think that's the big difference. I still believe, no matter who's in the White House or what state our country's in or what state the economy's in, if you work hard and you value that opportunity, will come to you, and if you have vision, you can take yourself anywhere in this country. And I'm very proud to be an American, and I think that could only happen in this country. Mm. Rachel Ray. Rachel, ah. it's only maybe some years ago that it hit me that the chef restaurant industry is male-dominated. And you know, mm. when it comes to entertainment, um, 
we often speak about the hardships of diversity and also of harassment of this whole Harvey Weinstein thing. Oof. Can yeah. you speak on like how the restaurant industry is, like how they treat women? You know, I, I'm very lucky in that I, I know a lot of the world's greatest chefs very, very well. Mm -hmm. uh, and I have to say, you know, they have as much respect for Anne Burrell as they would for Mario. They really do. I think it's really about the fabric of the person. If they see a woman going to the mattresses and working just as hard and, you know, standing up for themselves, then, you know, I think it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy for those ladies. I do think in general, going up the ladder, like I remember when I was a kid, I mostly worked for my mom, but it, there were a couple jobs I had where I worked in, in other places and other kitchens. And I can remember literally a guy, a chef saying to me, go get me uh, one of those kitchen buckets, you know, go get me a Sprite and strain it through your underwear. Like that kind of thing. <laughs> wow. You don't hear that anymore. At least I don't. Okay. You know, um, I, I do think it's getting better. Do I think everything is equal? No. But I have to feel hopeful about something. To live another day, it's required. Yeah. 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 I've tried to be hopeful. About we need some, some victories right yeah. now, That's right? right. Yeah. DB, you're gonna ask the final <laughs> question. This is it, man. So it's all make oh, it good. It's if all it's the final soldiers. question, that means I really am gonna die soon. Yeah, no, 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 just, no, just right now. Just right now. Right, now. right just for right now. This is it. I, I heard that you've got Oprah coming on your show to help celebrate the 2000th uh, yeah. episode. So that's it, pretty cool. Huh? What's your yeah. relationship? I mean, do you just call her up and say, "Hey, you want to come on my show?" Because she no, seems like somebody you'd have to go through a couple channels. Oprah, you know, Oprah lives a lot of the time in in Hawaii and and is always traveling. She is very gracious to me. I cannot call up Oprah. Um... I probably could if I wanted to. Like, uh -huh. I could call Gail, and Gail would get Oprah on the phone. Yeah. But I just let Oprah be Oprah. And whenever she wants to visit, I get her some of my favorite things. This time, I hope she's not listening because I got her the coolest pair of boots ever. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So I always give her, you know, because she has the my favorite, my favorite things. Thing. Yeah, like, right. Uh -huh. I always try and get her a book or a cool tea. But this time, it's the 2000s show. I got her some Really hot really? YSL boots. Ooh, that's they're hot. badass. Like, what do you get, Oprah? <laughs> right. you know I mean? you really get cool Oprah? boots. Okay, you get right. those what lady doesn't love cool shoes, yeah. okay, man? Okay. East Saint Laurent, sway those boots. Are and she hot. is the coolest. Really? Like, yeah. I remember the first time uh, <laughs> I did. I cooked, you know, on on Oprah for her uh, producer, and I was trying to teach this lady how to throw a party and be cooler about it. Oprah came in and made pomegranate martinis, and she worked that party. Like for hours, like wow. all night. She uh -huh. didn't just do it for a camera or for a bit or whatever. Uh -huh. Like that's she, she cool. She was going with the tray. That's and a cool lady. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Mixing cocktails all day. Wow, that's cool. And I'm like wow, she, I just love knowing. <laughs> that. I just feel like when she walks in the room, like I've never been in the same room, John, as Oprah. You know, yeah. if I've seen her <laughs> passing, you have. Yeah. Oh yeah. What happens to the room? Does it light up? She, she it lights the center up. Of it the room? glows. Yeah? yeah. Yeah. It's like electric. It's Everyone crazy. Everyone turns around, looks at her, and she just. Commands, and she smiles, and that's it. Everybody's like, that's coming off of her. Just, I can everybody's just, yeah. got just instant good juju. It's like, yeah. yay! Yes, <laughs> she makes people happy. Yeah. She does make yes. people happy. Well, well listen, uh, congratulations. You make people Thank happy, you. too. Yeah. And, and I don't Thank know if I'm guys. allowed to say it, but it's true. My best, one of the few best friends I have. Uh, <laughs> Y'all know Sean. When we, we, we're actually featuring in a next Death Wish movie with Bruce Willis. Yeah, I know. Okay, He so shot part of it within, the, within, he shot it within the movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. We, and we one shot of my business him. partners is Sean Lee. Sean Lee, oh, the one who was directing who the yeah, scene yeah, for us, who yeah. goes way back with me. Oh, um, um, I threw him TV. one hell of a birthday party in Montreal. I don't think he remembers much of it, but I saw him yeah. just, oh, shaking everything. Yeah, he, he, he told me. He, he said she might be one of the nicest people he's ever met. Oh. Um, um, By the way, I drank Sean under the table. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <it. But literally, laughs> like literally, I think he was under the table. table curled in a fetal yeah. position. That's kind of like Sean Lee. He looks tough, but you know, we know the inside. That he third Manhattan cushy. did him in. That, that was, John, pleasure to uh, meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too, Sway. Thanks for having us. On the show. Oh, absolutely, man. Rachel's you, honor. And Thank please you, come everybody. Back. Come yes, back. Anytime. Yeah. Okay. We want to come sit in the audience, too. Come anytime. We fun. have fun. We do three shows a day. That means there's three chances to get some good food. Shit, oh, I ain't yeah. had a <laughs> Rachel Ray, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you tune in to her this week. Uh, we got Celebrity Wire up next. Yep, we got to talk about why Jason Derulo needs new friends. Shay 45. It's Sway in the morning. Only on Shay 45.
Kilo.